know, people have been criticized and jabbed at and talked about throughout the ages for having different beliefs. And apparently I am no exception. Although it is a constant challenge, I will continue. I will not allow them to stop me. Who boy Steph versus Monster Inui fight prediction. Let's talk. Straighter, yep, the, not yep. a roundhouse right hand. And that's what we've been talking about, the straight shot. Exactly. It's the one where he gets leverage on it. <laughs> I don't want to kill Pull back a little seconds. bit. Nah, I want a body on my record. Now, I want to see you fight, motherfuckers. I do. All right? I'm with you. I'm with you. As long as as long as long you're trying to fight the great, you're, or the, the, the best competition. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we'll be here. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we'll be here. Yo, it's the best fight, the best. If you ain't with the mono, just click the link, bitch, and get buried like the rest. It ain't gonna work how you want it. These trolls already tried. Too many come, but don't leave. So if you here, you gotta die. Spitting straight facts. These bitches crying cause they hate that. The LDBC's the top topic, bitch, hate that. Be the best to bring the truth to these fans. So why you hate? I'ma laugh and keep counting these bands. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link, get the hands. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we don't hear you. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we don't hear you. Welcome to the graveyard. Cool boy Steph is going over to Japan to fight Monster Anui. Um, this is a very good fight, and if it wasn't for the fight this weekend. This would be the biggest fight this month. Maybe the biggest fight in this quarter. This is a huge fight between Cool Boy and Monster. You have Monster Inui, who is looked at as arguably a pound-for-pound pound number one fighter. I don't know where the fuck they got this from, but whatever. That's, what, that's the argument they have. He's not higher on my pound-for-pound pound list than Cool Boy Steph is, but he's on my list. He's just not higher than Cool Boy. Um... You have Monster, who's a puncher. He's a, pun a boxer puncher. Um, you have Cool Boy, who is a tactician. He, he doesn't have a lot of knockouts, only like six or seven or something like that. Um, and Monster knew he's got a lot of knockouts. But if you look at the level of competition, it's a whole different story. Um, Monster knew his best um, win on his resume is versus Nonito Donaire. And that was a rematch where Nonito damn near knocked him the fuck out in the first fight. Whatever. Um... But Cool Boy Steph, he, he's at a litany. You know, he's fought more undefeated fighters per capita in his career than any fighter in boxing right now. Like, this is like his, what, his eighth or ninth undefeated fighter that he's fought? I mean, he don't have that many fights. <laughs> he damn near got more undefeated fighters on his resume than fights. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 almost that, it's almost that level. He's taken everybody's O's. So when you look at um, the mindset of a cool boy versus the mindset of a monster. You look at the name itself, cool boy. Like he's cool with it, bro. Like he knows what he's coming to do. He knows what it is. It's no, no moment is too big. He, he's just level headed and cool with the whole nine. Monster, you're looking at this guy who's looking to get you out of there. The excitement, the power, you know, the 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 punch placement, and that's why people look at this man and say. Um, He's pound for pound because they're they're they worried about the excitement, not worried about the skill set. This not to say that monster is not skilled. He is skilled. He's very skilled, but they're worried about the excitement, the excitement that comes along with him. For me, it's a little bit different. I look at this fight totally different than how people look at this fight. Right? They'll look at this and say, "Cool boy is going to Japan." You know, cool boy is going over there and he's putting his belts in the line. I look at this and say, it doesn't matter where you fight at. Skills pay the bills. And you could fight on Mars, the ring's the same size anywhere else. Looking at a fight of this magnitude between Cool Boy and Monster, I don't think anybody talked about the ring size. I would think that, that they would try to get that in Monster's favor since, since him being the puncher, right? Then they would try to have a smaller ring size so that Cool Boy can't move around much. But the thing about it is Cool Boy is not a, a runner. Cool Boy likes to fight 
majority of his fights, he likes to fight in the pocket. <laughs> That's where he likes to fight at. And he's fought with guys who are punchers. He's fought against bigger guys than Monster Anu. Um, bigger punchers than Monster Anu. So I feel, not a feel, I know that Monster Anu, that Cool Boy's coming in here with a different type of mindset, with a different type of uh, uh, a vibe. Like, bro, I fought against bigger punchers than this guy. I've been hit by bigger punchers than this guy. Now, again, it's not the punch, not the, not the punching power that gets him off. Like it's the punch you don't see. Um, Monster, is, is a, he's an aggressive fighter. He throws a lot of punches, like, uh, not like a lot, like letting him go like that. No, but he throws a lot of punches and he throws them sharp, right? And he's got really good punch plays. So he's a very good fighter. He's not, he ain't no slouch, he ain't no bum. Um, and I would actually say he's better technically than Cool Boy. I mean, than, not Cool Boy. He's, better, he's a better technical fighter than, than B. Figgy. Than Brandon Figueroa that um, Cool Boy just fought. Like he's a better technical fighter than him. He doesn't smother a lot of his punches, right? But he needs to fight at range, and I believe that's one of the issues where he needs to fight at. Like Monster Nui fighting close is not really a good thing for Mon. It's not in this fight. It's not a good thing. You know, fighting against a Paul Butler in close is nothing when Butler don't punch like Cool Boy. You know, Butler just, Butler is a is a smaller guy. Right, Cool Boy is a bigger. You're moving up in weight. Where I give Monster all the respect in the world because as an undisputed champion, he's moving up in weight to challenging the number one guy up there. It's crazy when you give this when I can give Monster Nui respect for moving up to challenge the number one guy, but people can't give Devin Haney the respect to move up and challenge the number one guy. Whole different story, but it is what it is. So back to this, right? I give Monster Nui the respect that he deserves because he's moving up to challenge the number one guy in a bigger weight class. He's doing that, and Monster knew he should get the respect he deserves for doing that, albeit they're fighting in Japan, whatever. It's, it, cool Boy's clearly going to get a bigger bag to fight this man in Japan, so that's probably, that, that is probably that—that the definite the reason why he went over to Japan to fight him. Otherwise, if the money was going to be bigger in America, they'd be fighting in America. So it's without doubt that Cool Boy's going to get his biggest bag to fight Monster Nui in Japan, which is why he's there. Now, if we're getting into the actual nuances of this, you have Cool Boy who prefers to fight on the inside. He prefers to, uh, um, he has better better defense inside. Um, he's a better inside fighter. He's better technically. He's better overall. He's a bigger guy, right? He's a bigger guy. He's better overall, and he's better in a uh, better technically inside. Whereas Monster needs to use his range where he can get that power at the end of his punch. Right, he needs to keep that range. If he can keep that distance, he can have some some good ass success against Cool Boy. If he can hurt him, yeah. If his power does not translate up to uh, uh, up there where where, where uh, Cool Boy is at, if his power does not translate up there, if he moves up in his weight and his power doesn't move with him, he's in trouble. He's in fucking trouble. If his power does move with him and he can keep the the range and the distance, Cool Boy's in trouble. Now, I believe. For this fight, Cool Boy is going to be Cool Boy. He is going to get close against this man. He's going to smother this man's punches, right? He's going to force Monster Inui to fight him at a closer range than Monster Inui wants to fight, which is what Cool Boy does to everybody. He smothers your 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 punches. If you if you're better inside, if you're great inside, he'll keep you at range, right? If you're if you're not that great inside, he smothers you, and he he always starts out doing that. He's going to smother you to feel. Um, if he if he can take away your your distance where you're going to get all your power if you're not a fighter like Brandon Figueroa who throws a lot of punches no matter where he's at Monster knew he's in trouble I think Cool Boy's going to smother this man he's going to smother his uh his punches he's going to smother um his output he's going to uh down Monster knew he's work rate Monster knew is going to be down on his scorecards he's going to have to I think Monster is going to need a knockout to win this but don't get it twisted there in Japan he can get uh, Cool Boy can get robbed. But I, I think Monster Nui is going to need a knockout because Cool Boy is going to smother his punches. He's going to smother this man. He's going to be holding him. He's bigger. He's going to put his weight on him. Um, he's going to be pushing him against the ropes, throwing body shots against the ropes, digging to the body. Um, that's where Monster Nui is going to have to try to push him off to get some success. I don't see it, though. I, I really don't see it. If, if Monster Nui wins this fight, which he very well can, if, if it's a fair and even playing field, Monster Inouye is going to need a knockout. He is not going to outbox Cool Boy. He's going to need a knockout. Cool Boy is going to smother this man's punches. He's going to do some dog work, some dirty work, the work that people don't like to do, the work that's on the inside, beating away at the body, pause, the work that's uh, uh, 
you know, I'm, I'm beating down to this man's kidneys and causing him to drop his, his glove so I can come over the top. And if Cool Boy can land some shit on Monster the way that Nonito landed some shit on Monster, Cool Boy could end up stopping him. Cool Boy could end up stopping this man at home. That it's not like Cool Boy don't got knockouts. He's got knockouts. He might not have a lot because he smothers a lot of his work. Because he forces you guys to fight in dog fights inside where he's better. He's just better than you guys at dog fights. So he forces you to fight where he wants you to fight. He don't stay at the range to allow you guys to fight where you want to fight. No, he maneuvers his way in and he forces you to fight his fight. With Monster and Nui never fighting a black man. Never even sparring a black man. This is a whole different type of, type of ballgame. I, I, I believe Cool Boy's going to edge this out. I believe Cool Boy's going to hurt Monster Nui. Uh, he's going to hurt him, He's going to, but he's going to edge this out. Uh, I think he's going to win on a split decision because they're in Japan, so someone's going to give the scorecards to Monster Nui. I believe it's going to be wider than what people believe, and I believe Cool Boy's going to hurt this man. Now, when we're talking about um, the wraps, right, the hand wraps, I see a lot of people talking about the hand wraps, the hand wrap this and the hand wrap that. Um... Before I speak on these things, I do my research. I know that in different countries, that in different states, there is different um, wraps that is that wrap different wrapping that is allowed. Um, I know out there in Japan they allow the stack wrap, which you know forms the cast. They allow that out there. Um, there's some states in America where they allow that, and then there's others where they don't. Right. If they don't allow it, then that means someone has found an issue with it. There is a commission somewhere in one of these states. There's, there's a commission that finds an issue with stacking your wraps. They find an issue with it. If they find an issue with it, then that means there's something wrong with this motherfucker, man. There's something wrong with it. Now, again, it's legal out there in Japan. So they're, he's, he's going he's gonna to stack his, he's gonna stack his wraps. It's legal out there in Japan. He's going to get away with it, right? Y'all got to understand, Cool Boy is doing him a favor. Now, Cool Boy's going to get a bag, but Cool Boy is doing him a favor by giving him unification in one fight. In one fight, Monster Nui will be unified if he beats Cool Boy Steph in one fight. I don't see it happening, but you guys still got to understand, he's got some fucking claim to say, hey, man, I don't like this shit. Even if it's just to put a, 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 a light, shine a light on some shit. And whatever the case may be. And I see a lot of people saying, don't make no excuses. Don't make no excuses. But how can you say don't make no excuses when you're not fighting? We are spectators. We are on the outside looking in. How can you say don't make no excuses when you're not getting punched on? How can you say don't make no excuses when you don't feel the power of what's going on? How can anybody say don't make this? someone? No, it's not an excuse if you're bringing it to the light. I don't remember people um, saying it was an excuse where Bum Lofkin and, and, and Fable Sanchez was talking about Canelo Alvarez stacking his gloves. I don't remember nobody said they was like, oh man, Canelo's trying to cheat. Cheater Canelo, he's a cheater. Why? Because he was white? He was, was, was because Bum Lofkin was white talking about this? Fable Sanchez was training a white fighter and that's why it was such a thing? But motherfuckers will tell me in a heartbeat, oh, come on, BF, don't be racist. Just, you know, you're only supporting Cool Boy because he's black. You're only, no, I'm rocking with Cool Boy because he's better. You guys bring up race because race matters to you guys. Cool Boy is better than Monster Inui. If Monster Inui is to be a better fighter, then congratulations to Monster Inui. If Monster Inui is to get the stoppage, congratulations to Monster Inui for stopping a better fighter. And that's the only thing I'm thinking of. You guys bring up race. So when you bring up race, I'll address race. Am I rocking with cool boy Steph because he's black? No. But because you guys say it, yes. Now what? I'm rocking with cool boy because he's better. And I rock with cool boy. I don't rock with Monster Nui like that. Monster Nui can fight. But that don't got shit to do with nothing. Cool boy is better than him. He just happens to be black. If Cool Boy was white and better than Monster Nui, I'd be rocking with Monster. I'd be rocking with Cool Boy still. I rock with Nonito Donaire. I rock with him when he fought Cool Boy. I mean, when he fought Monster Nui, I rock with him both times. I still do. Salute to Nonito Donaire, the Filipino Flash. 
He is a monster. He's not black. I rock with him. So miss me with all this stupid ass racist shit that you motherfuckers be wanting to use. Because you guys are the ones that are racist, not me. Not me. I rock with who is better. Who is better? Cool Boy Steph is better than Monster Anui. And that's why I'm picking Cool Boy Steph to beat Monster Anui. He just so happens to look like me. He just so happens to have the same skin tone, the same amount of melanin in his system that I do. He just so happens to. It's you goofy ass motherfuckers that will enter, that will put race, you'll enter race into the subject and then be mad when I address it. Y'all can support your own, but if I support mine, then all of a sudden it's a problem. Problem is. Cool Boy is better. And I believe Cool Boy will beat this man. I believe Cool Boy will hurt Monster Inui. He might drop him. Don't get it twisted. He might stop him. But I believe Cool Boy Steph beats this man by split decision because they're fighting in Japan. I believe he will hurt Monster Inui. He, he, might, he might drop this man. I believe he's definitely going to hurt him because uh, he's, he's a, bit, a good big man beats a good little man 10 out of 10 times. 10 out of 10 times, a good big man will beat a good little man. Because fucking size matters. It fucking matters. And Cool Boy's a bigger fighter. He's a better fighter. Better overall. He might not have the punching power of a Monster Inui. But then again, he just might. Because Monster Inui is not fighting motherfuckers like Cool Boy Steph is fighting. The level of competition matters when it comes to your knockouts. If the level of competition you're fighting is not to par with someone else's level of competition, well, then you'll fuck around and get a lot of knockouts. But if your level of competition is the same as that level of competition and you're getting knockouts and they're not, well, then you got punching power. Whatever, man, whatever. Monster Inui is moving up to Cool Boy Steph's weight. Cool Boy Steph just fought a killer in B-Figgy. He just fought a, mo a dude with punching power, a dude with um, activity, aggression, everything. You throw, he's throwing, and Cool Boy, and cool boy beat him, all right? Cool Monster Inui just fought Butler. A fucking bum. There is a difference. And this is why I'm picking Cool Boy. He's just better. He's fought better competition. We're moving. No need to do there. Right? But other than that, he's fought better competition. Right? Cool Boy's fought better competition. And he's undefeated. He's fought more, un more undefeated fighters. All of that. All of that is in Cool Boy's favor. The only reason why you guys are picking Monster Inui is because he isn't black. It's totally racist because if you remove, if you just looked at their motherfucking, the level of competition and the motherfuckers they fought, this is clear, Cool Boy. Clear. But whatever. If Monster Nui beats Cool Boy Steph, congratulations to Monster Nui. Right? Monster Nui, congratulations to you. You moved up. You fought a better fighter and you beat him. Congratulations. If you win, congratulations. You move up on my pound for pound list if you beat Cool Boy, who is ahead of you on my pound for pound list. But I got Cool Boy. And I got Cool Boy by split decision. Really by unanimous decision, but I think one of the judges are going to give, um, uh, they're going to give Monster Inui the, the fucking fight because they're fighting in Japan. BFTB, shout to the mighty, mighty LDBC. And I'm out.